Nasty is what it is. Power 95.3. All right, if you're ready for it, let's get into that gossip with Nasty's what it is. All right, what it is with Rihanna, who was in London Saturday, and she was going out, hanging out, right? And then something happened that left Rihanna and her bodyguard injured. Some fan, so-called fan, flipped out on Rihanna because he was really disappointed that she's back with Chris Brown after, I guess, the beatdown back in 2009. To the point where he started to chuck a bottle at Rihanna. Throwing a big bottle at Rihanna's head. That's when she luckily ducked to avoid the bottle. Causing her to hit some metal piece. She ended up scraping her leg. That's when her bodyguard just went on foot chasing the guy. And then ended up injuring his foot as well. So the freaking guy that was trying to throw a bottle at Rihanna's head ended up getting away. Because she and her bodyguard were both injured. So thankfully it's not serious. She is okay. But to think that fans are... Are that, that obsessed that with is, her life? Yeah, you that know what interested. I mean? Anyways, uh, well, you know, it, it, I, I just keep thinking about the bodyguard who got injured while running after the other dude. Yes. Let's hope he can fight I'm, better than he can run. Yeah. Well, I'm like, did he twist his ankle? Like, I'm trying to get those details. I'm like, what the heck? He just went off against this guy and then injured his own leg. So, thankfully, again, Rihanna is okay. If you want to see the photo, she's got some blood on her knee and stuff on the scrape of the metal. Yeah. You can see it on Power953.com. Yeah, just obsessed, obsessed. What it is with Akon, who's trying to compete with Facebook. He was creating a Facebook-like platform. It was called Fan Trace. Now, what Akon wanted to do with this was allow you to chat on Facebook with your favorite celebrities. So fans and celebrities could connect. Obviously not in that Rihanna way, but they could connect over this website. It's falling flat on its face. The website Fan Trace just cannot get a leg up. Not surpassing Facebook. Even MySpace, who was recently um, announced that Justin Timberlake would kind of buy into the company and help promote it. That's not really picking That's up either. Slowly, it's difficult. slowly, slowly picking. Yeah. yeah, it's really difficult. So Acons didn't work out, but there's a company, an Atlanta-based video company, that said that they did all the video and graphic work for the website. They put in over a 1,000 hours of pure work, and they haven't been paid a cent. So they're demanding Acom pay them at least for those hours. It's over 120000 at this point. And then they're going to go on tack on more dollar bills for all their work. Well, now the name, you know, well, not the way they wanted it. They wanted, you know, a huge success and massive right. followers and all that through that website. Now yeah. their name is still out there, though. So it's going to make people curious and they're going to start clicking on what is it? Fan Trace. F A N and then Trace, T R A C E, if you want to see it. So. Yeah, I'm actually. I should it's probably hard log to start those too. businesses. People think, oh, we're gonna be the next Facebook. That's what happened with Google Plus. Whatever happened to Google Plus? Yeah, you well, had to be invited in. Now people don't even want to be in it. Well, you can't. You can't just I'm bring on a celebrity. Now, you can't just bring on a celebrity and think that automatically the the social site's gonna take off. You know right. what I mean? So yeah, like Justin look, Timberlake's a prime example. You know, mm-hmm. putting his own money and own time into MySpace and MySpace slow, slow at getting it's still, back. Still, still, it's still a name nowadays. So. That's what it is. Every 50 after with the Ovi and Little Sean Show.